There are things in your life that you just don't remember. Like when you're in a rush to get out of the house and you can't remember where you put your keys. Then after 20 minutes of searching, then you remember, oh yeah, they're in the door. But the best thing, and probably good that you don't remember, is the day you're born. You have to get all that information about that day from your parents. If anyone says they can remember, I'm sorry if that's you, and it must be harrowing, but I also know you're talking shish kebab. I'm feeling hungry now. Maybe I ought to get online and get something ordered for later from Just Feed Your Face. Ooh, 18-piece deluxe box of chicken. Yeah, that'll do. Sorted. Your memory record button is on when you're born, but it doesn't really start to compute until you're around two or three, and then you can start to hold memories. In the first year of your life, yeah, you'll shake your hands and smile at people. You start to recognise, unless your mum has wrapped you up that tight you can't hardly move. But other than your parents and other members of your family, can you tell me who else you've met? And the woman on the checkout at Tesco's doesn't count. My mum didn't look very big while carrying me. Lots of people said that she didn't even look pregnant. No need to be alarmed, I wasn't due for nearly another month. But guess what? My mother's waters broke and I was ready to join the world. So my parents rushed up to the hospital for me to be born. No, the hospital didn't have sheep there. I wasn't born in Cardiff in the end. Anyway, I was born early and therefore I was classed as a premature baby. I was small and I weighed in about the same as a can of fizzit. So I was put in the intensive care baby unit, which means a nurse had to rush out to the pet shop, pick up a clear plastic hamster cage and stick me in it. Yeah, I was put in an incubator that looks like a hamster cage, so I wouldn't catch any diseases my body couldn't handle. This was my home for the next three weeks. During my stay in the incubator, there were a few things going on in the outside world. Good morning. I would just like to say that the future of technology is here. We have developed what we think will help you have peace of mind. The technology I'm talking about will not only give you the final total before you get to the till in a large grocery store, it will scientifically work out how many grams of sugar you will need to make a week's worth of fruitcakes, ladies. How cool is that? The HP 35 Scientific Calculator is here. And it fits right in your pocket. And I have one here. With me. Right. Now. What he failed to tell you was the price. $395 or 500 quid. For a calculator? And the only thing I found amusing with it was if you typed in a few numbers and then turned the calculator upside down, it looked like you wrote some words. Moving swiftly on. Britain's 280,000 coal miners walked off the job and went on strike. But none of them bothered to come and see if I was all right. I mean, the power could have gone off at any moment due to the country not having a lot of electricity being produced. But I must admit, the walkout was warranted and I completely understand you still could have called in though. So there was a few things going on that I wasn't aware of. I was just making sure I stayed healthy before I was allowed to go home. And that day arrived and the nurse told my parents that now I was strong enough to be let out of the hamster cage and go home. At the time of my birth, there was no restrictions on having to put a baby in a car seat. The law hadn't been brought in. Now my dad had a little car. So for argument's sakes, I was placed on the roof rack of the car for the trip home. It was a little cold and breezy, but I was secure. It might have happened. I don't remember. All I know is I got home somehow. Knowing what my mum had told me, I didn't really go home because my parents hadn't organised anywhere since returning from Wales. So we went to my nan's place and lived there for a bit. On the subject of hamsters, we've had a few in our time and that's why I have a big scar on my index finger because one of them bit a chunk out of it. The little 